This is the village of Milton Malbay, County Clare. And it's the main centre of an area which is steeped in the Irish folk music tradition, and in particular, the tradition of the Eland Pipes. It's from here that the legendary blind piper, Garrett Barry, came, and of course, more recently, the late Willie Clancy, the last of the great West Clare Pipers. Clancy died on the 27th of January, 1973, and since then, his name and his music is commemorated in the form of a summer school, which is held here during the first week of July every year. Some 400 students attend the summer school every year, and they come here to learn and to share in the music of some of Ireland's leading exponents. The main driving force behind the summer school is a man called Murish O'Rohan, who, since he moved here in 1970, has played a major role not only in the musical life of West Clare, but also in its cultural life in general. Although he's not a native of this particular locality, Murish O'Rohan has made Milton Malbay his own place. All through the years I have been here, I couldn't but say the very best for the people in the locality. They've been very, very helpful to me in running the school. Being from the same background as, as I come from, say, West Kelly uh, farming area as well, I've moved to another place. My wife is a native of here, and uh, I have integrated very much here. That's just one thing, again, I think that there is great welcome for people here. In Milltown itself, musicians get a great reception. And they're always very, very welcome. And people here are aware of what good music is. I think that's a very decisive thing, because with the summer school itself, it's great to come into a place where there's, where there's a welcome, and a care meal of all to do. Many of the great musicians all over the country have a lot of intimate friends here in Milltown, and they have built up acquaintances down through the years, uh, resulting that, that uh, outside of the summer school at all. There are several times, weekends during the year, that many great musicians say, all over come here, and they congregate here. Again, I think they feel that it's, it's a place that is not commercialised. It's here, they can have a, a drink and talk and meet their friends, but they're not here for any commercial reason. Why wouldn't I be? Ah, it's just going well, to be honest. I'm a bit tired, but still happy enough about it. I had to get a great report to do anyway. Ah, ah, no. I'm happy enough for it anyway. We'll come back yes. again next year. Well, I'll be back, I hope. Yeah. Well, it's a pleasure to us anyway, and thank, thank you. If you want us back. Certainly. <laughs> right, Certainly, because while I was better, we'll get away fixing the halls yet. Right, so. Shall right, we'll see that's you later on. I think our success really has been that we have kept, we've kept it uh, pretty authentic. You know, we have never compromised or brought in any gimmicks into it or... Uh, try to do that and also we set up a very loose organization the system that is pretty informal we don't have any very strict rules or regulations or don't have any big constitutions it's strictly for the helping of the promotion of music and irish culture and i i, th I really think that's that's why we're successful because all the pupils who came they got into it straight away we had no great formal openings or great press conferences beforehand to launch it off the ground and it gradually uh, by bush telegraph if you like uh, got well known all over the world and resulting that we have people coming from practically all parts of the world to the school today. Milton Malbay National School on the Mullock Road is where many of the classes take place and it's here that two great West Clare fiddle players, John Kelly and Bobby Casey, teach tunes from the West Clare region to students of all age groups from as far away as Australia and the United States. I think we'll uh, go over that beautiful hornpipe that we introduced yesterday, Tommy Hill's favourite. And uh, you, you seem to have a good a grasp of the hornpipe, so we'll give it a, a, a bit of a going over now again and make sure that, that you're all happy with it. Three summer schools ago, when I came from Australia for the first time to Milton Malbay, I met Mirish. Uh, I had never heard of him before that. 
And I quickly came to realize that he was a man of action in the summer school here. I've been attending the traditional fiddle class with John Kelly and Bobby Casey. And uh, I've now had the benefit of three summer schools. I hope that I'll have many more. We'll have a go at the Tempest now, before the storm arrives. is a great opportunity for especially for people that don't normally have access to a lot of Irish music and a good teacher there's a lot to be absorbed and to be heard and to be played and it's just a great thing I wish it could go on all summer I came especially over from Holland from this for the summer school because it's almost the only opportunity I can get to get good lessons on the pipes <laughs> Murray Shorokan, there wouldn't be any summer school, I'd say. You know, it's um, he, 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 everybody rallies around Murray in this thing, you know, it, it walks around him, and um, that's it. From the point of view of phrasing the tune, we need the, the C on the draw, and the D on the draw, and the B on the draw, as, as would be here. Notes here um, that the C is on the here, right? C, the D here, and the B here. And it's just from the point of view of phrasing. If you use the C on the press, this C here, it, it tends to sort of jolt the tune and it, it affects the, whole, the overall effect. And the first part of the tune, the D is on the press. D is on the press. I instructed you on that yesterday. So I, I'll just play it for you and. Um, and then we'll, we'll try you out with one of us. See you on the press. You, you hear it there now. Noel Hill is one of Ireland's leading concertina players, and he is in constant demand to play all over Ireland, England and Europe. Yet, he, like many more musicians, makes himself available during the first week of July every year to teach the various techniques and intricacies of concertina playing. See what I mean? If you was... That, that, that doesn't sound as well at all as, as doing the whole phrase in the draw. Uh, it, it's, it, as, I, as I've said, it, it goes to tune. So, um, do, would you just try, try there, using the, the, the C on the draw? The E on the draw. Yeah, try, try, try that little crime we had on the sea. As we had on the sea. Do it on its own now. And I think it has helped Irish music quite a bit in this sense that many of the people who we get from abroad and get from Ireland as well, they're living in little isolated communities where they have no contact with really living traditions. Many of the people they meet here, they only have them maybe on disc or have them over the radio or something. But it gives them a great uh, encouragement and also uh, with the classes and things. Uh, many of them who come here again, they go back to their own little places after and they come back to us in 12 months time and they feel rejuvenated again. Oh, they tell me that because particularly I've got letters from abroad uh, from people who never believed that such a thing existed or could exist.
Francis people came from the townland of Island Vaughan, about six miles north of Milton Malbay, and it was his father, Gilbert Clancy, who taught him the old music of West Clare. That's it. Good. Oh, you? They were to have finished yesterday. What do you think about them? Yeah. Nearly talking. I felt a bit stiff. We softened up a little bit. Ours is a school, not a festival, and that's one thing that's often confusing in people's mind, that our priorities are what happens in the school, what happens in the workshops, what happens in the lectures, and we provide, or try to provide at any rate, the best available expertise for these, and try to see the school itself is run successfully. I think that has been our big achievement, to be honest. To the inside. You have a lot of wood on the sides. Take it out. I'd say possibly the most important part of this developed is the piping section, because when we started in 73, there was about 80 to 100 students. Now, this year, there is four to 500 students. And the workshops and the pipers' workshop have developed. The piping section, in particular, has got very strong. Mm -hmm. All sections, really, because we're we capacity fun. Like, we deal with, this year, we had 30 classes and two workshops. And uh, if we had more facilities available in the town, we could also have used them. But we really don't want to. We're satisfied enough with the numbers. We wouldn't want any more. You just, uh, I don't think you did. One of the most important yeah. personalities involved in Skullsory Willie Clancy is the legendary Dublin piper, Dan Dowd, who presides over the reed-making workshops. Good. To the many students, Dan passes on the various skills involved in the whole reed-making process, which he has perfected over 50 yes, years or so. Techniques such as pairing and binding, and all the various steps right down to the finished product. Now, yeah, there's your reed. Is good? Yeah. The importance of the Woody Clancy Summer School for Piper, certainly, is that it provides an intensive uh, course of instruction spread over the whole week. Lessons in the morning for beginners right up to the top players, uh, recitals by uh, good pipers, and opportunity to collect a great deal of music, and we say on tape recorders, coupled then with the instruction that you are able for the next 11 and a half months to pursue uh, your studies of the pipes, practice of that. I've been living here all my life, and I've known all the musicians who came and went as the years went by, and uh, 
Murrish has been an inspiration to the whole lot, you know, and organised the whole lot in different ways. And his knowledge and, and uh, uh, perseverance, you know, has created uh, the Willie Clancy Summer School exactly to what it is at the moment. I find it difficult. There's so much going on that uh, I can't really take it all in, you know. So I've been concentrating on my the piping and a few of the recitals, different recitals. Uh, I just, um, I'll be back again, definitely. I met Marisha Roken last year when I came from Washington, D.C. for the Willie Clancy School and found that he had created one of the most wonderful, vibrant schools I've ever been to in all my life. I met people here from all over the world that come to improve their skills in playing traditional music. And I really think that he deserves much of the credit for what's happened here over this last week. In a way, Willie Clancy is very much here and very much alive, and his presence is felt. And this is due to the work of the summer school, school collection, due, due, of course, as I say, to the work of Murish. Now, this tune is a good example of um, grace notes, the type of grace note that we were working on. Uh, the name of the tune is When Sick Is It Tea You Want. It's one of Seamus Ennis's, and I play it for you now, and you can have a it then. Although the school caters for most aspects of the Irish instrumental folk tradition, there is no doubt but that the Ellen Pipes classes are the most sought after. The Pipes classes are divided into different strands depending on the standard of the pupils. Jimmy O'Brien Morn from Waterford was one of the teachers at this year's school. Christian, would you like to try it? You've got to watch that triplet uh, going up onto the second octave and try and get those grace notes, those. Try and get those. You've learned a lot of uh, technique and a uh, few tunes here at school. Do you reckon you'll come back next year? I certainly will, yeah. I think so, because uh, I learned a lot this year, just as last year, and uh, I have to practice it for the rest of the year on my own. <laughs> That's the thing. So I think I will, yeah. Right, we'll take a bit of a break from the class now, and uh, Heather, will you play the, the slow air you played yesterday, Loch Na Goyer?
Han sa till Paul Rys, vi går in i bjorden i kärt blir någonting, jag bara hänger, går någon hänger mest med inte. Det blir någonting, jag bara vi kan inte hålla i dock i stämpel för oss. Vi är färre än pedd i David och Bina i nåt. Och oss färre än vad hur han och igen så nej du skjuter då. Han sa till Paul Rys, jag bara vi ska inte låta gå eller hur? Går i det blir någonting. Vi är någon, vi är skall någon irvande dagis. Det är inte någonting jag kan avvara inte. Har sån en hel egen is, dem lena. Det vi kan om går i kvinn lena i nyss i morgon. Och tänk ska gå och ha faken is. Det kan du såna is med vänhängning av honom. Sen tror jag sen, men man står i en god kallon vård och dohiga sen. Och där vet alla som har kvar är kolog, så är de tängen. Så är små väska kvar, vad är det nog i kvinn? Níl wain gúil maidis a jannú an cuid jirson na chéal chíri sa chantar, tá sé hén agus a dhán úna a jannú an cuid jirson na chultúr gí gimhan alta, agus tán bárcíkú a jannú cinti gúm a jannú na has sa chultúr bailag a níhar cúndán tlár. Yeah. Tan Kionella in our side, Agastashi Blanche. Share. 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 Agus físe ar mar bhain sin. Agus sa sam sé. Is féid big orin, big orin creep nua stoil a minuaf. Agus big lá éile bhain. Agus idir an darin ma ain chibh éin rudaí do níos milne na caillun chéanns. Cascalor. Slán. Slán libh leanaí. Slán. Nairn bóthar libh. Do you know, the year has been a very great success, you know. I was, well, really, I, I was a bit, crossed, you know. Honest to God, I was a bit apprehensive about it. I thought there would be too many people there in Hollywood. We have four to five hundred students here. They all worked yeah. out very well. Yeah, of course. I know we had a few extra classes, all right. But yeah, but you must give right. full credit to the teachers, you see. We had We just set it up and they handled it. I did it around itself. We had good yeah. people involved, to be honest yeah. about it. And That's quite true. And the format like worked well again. Yeah. Even the second workshop now for the papers this year was successful. Oh, it was. It was. That was a great success, actually. No, oh, I think that uh, many of them are fairly enthusiastic already for about coming back again. I know, I know. Which I don't like I to know, hear of it, but it's just to be honest about it, because uh, once it is over, you well, give it a rest at least anyway. We'll, we'll see what the future is. Find it too into secret, but don't jump on me for it. I have bookings for next year, I believe. Well, look after myself at the moment, don't show them to me the name of yeah. that. But we'll get, it, we'll get going in September. Yeah, we'll have to. Yeah. 
Uh, here's to next year, anyway, Morris. Clark Martin. Clark Martin. Shouldn't what you need to hear a coma, Nation's called Sowry. Nasky and either in Tanga, I guess in Kyol. But I'm more on the Nisha in Kyol. I guess Scotch Hill Tori. Tashi says Delta Mahon, Cultura Tanis Lehen, Nation, Tanga, I guess, and Iliak, I guess, and Prose Abbot. As Mualing a Gonig, and Naskus and Own. As a Leruda of a talk to English, more a reach will you can't say fair, she wrote a hicksha. As she talked to Tanga, more more talk than she knows or Ronnie Tabras and cool of it if you're dark with Kyol. The Willie Clancy School has helped to make Milltown Malbay the folk music capital of Ireland. It involves an easy mix of the professional and amateur, the scholarly and popular. This is its good fortune and the key to its success. <laughs> <laughs> 